Hello everyone, my name is Anuradha. In this video, I'm going to give a brief introduction to the simulation of the robot motion and localization with particle filter in MATLAB. How can a mobile robot estimate its position and orientation in a known map? The solution to this is particle filters. Most importantly, the particle filter is used since unlike Kalman filters, the probability distribution over the estimated state of the robot can be non-Gaussian distributions. The state space of a particle filter is continuous and not confined to unimodal distributions. Particle filters present an approximate solution like the Kalman filter and are known to scale well in terms of efficiency for tracking applications. The key advantage of particle filter is that it is easy to program. To understand how the particle filter works, imagine using the LIDAR or range sensor measurements to determine your location. Based on the sensor measurements, you would be able to narrow down to possible locations that you could be in using the probability distribution of where you are. This process continues with the memory of the sensor measurements of its position and orientation along with the measurements of the robot's environment at each successive step along the robot's path. Now we can proceed to get an intuition for how the particle filter works and how you could code this understanding of the robot's environment and location. Initially, the robot knows only of the map of its environment and it is likely to be at any location with any orientation on the map with equal probability. Rather than trying to capture the probability with some smoothly defined function, it is possible to approximate the probability distribution by randomly generating a set of discrete particles, each with a location and orientation. The locations and orientations of these particles are uniformly randomized to represent the uniform probability distribution across the map. Each of these poses is saved by the filter as a possible estimate of the state and the, as the number of particles increases, the more likely it is that they represent a probability distribution that is close to the true distribution. At this point, once it gets the LIDAR range measurements and the patterns that it represents, the particle filter takes each of these particles and determines using the map what the LIDAR sensor would have returned if that pose was the true pose. These patterns are then compared to determine whether the particle represents the true state of the robot. So the probability distribution after one measurement is no longer uniform but skewed towards the more probable poses. Thus a set of weighted samples are used with importance weights indicating the probability of each sample being the true pose where higher weights indicate higher probabilities of the particle being the true state. Before moving ahead, I want to show you something. Based on our YouTube statistics of the last 28 days, roughly 9% of viewers have subscribed to our channel. If you have not subscribed to our channel yet, we request you to subscribe now. Let us jump back to our video. The particles are resampled from the initial set of particles and those particles with high probability are retained for the next resampling step and the rest of the unlikely particles are removed. The robot is moving along a path using its onboard odometry and this estimated motion is applied to the particles in the filter. Due to uncertainty in measurements of the estimated robot motion, the particles are propagated with the addition of random motion according to the process noise. This iterative process continues and the particles are resampled at every step from the most probable states using the weighted samples to represent the probabilities and these are indicated by the size of the particles. This way, the robot hones in on its true pose once the algorithm converges to the actual pose. Let us now briefly look into how this is implemented in MATLAB. There are two scripts for this algorithm, namely robot and particle filter. The robot is located in a two-dimensional area of size 100 by 100 and can see four landmarks. So the process of creating the robot is really easy. 
and all that needs to be done is to call the function robot and assign it to a variable. For the robot function, this has the class definition of the robot with all the variables initialized in the properties section. Then in the methods of the class, there is the robot function which takes as input the environment or world size and generates a random location and orientation of the robot. The set command assigns the pose of the robot with x, y and heading direction in radians. The move function takes as inputs the turn angle and the distance and calculates the next pose of the robot with the updated orientation using the turn angle and the forward distance as inputs. The measured distances to the RAN marks comprise the measurement vector of the robot. So the probability is calculated using the Gaussian function, which finds the probability of the measurement z with mean mu as the particle's distance to the landmarks and standard deviation sigma being the sensor noise. Then there is a function that calculates the accuracy of the predictions of the particle filter by calculating the error as the Euclidean distance between the robot's location and the particle's location and sums up the total error. In the particle filter algorithm, first the robot is created and n particles are created using the same function. In our example, n is 1000. The initial error evaluation is done to compare the error before the resampling process and this results in a large error. Then the scatter plot is done for each particle. Then the robot and particles are made to move with the move command and the sense command obtains the distances to the four landmarks. Then the measurement probability is calculated as described earlier. The result is normalized to obtain imp importance weights for each particle. The process of resampling is done and more details about the resampling can be found in the blog and the algorithm's intuition is described. The interested viewer can refer to probabilistic robotics by Sebastian Thrun for details on the theory. Let us run the code to see the simulation. We can see that the particles have moved a certain distance and have clustered around the pose of the robot with the highest probability of being the true pose. This is how the particle filter algorithm for robot localization works. If you want to access the MATLAB codes and GUI figure developed by me, visit the blog with the link in the description and purchase the blog resources. Thank you for watching this video. Do like this video if you have found this helpful. If you have any queries, please post them in the comments and get in touch with us. Follow us on LinkedIn, Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Education is our future. MATLAB is our feature. Happy MATLABing!